Hi guys and welcome to another bootstrap video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in our last video we showed you how to change the navbar background color and the height and we changed it to this uh, pretty nasty looking color right here which is the red. And we had somebody ask how do you add your logo? Well it's pretty easy. If I get my bracket software up Here's where we left off and I've been writing the style on page. Normally I'd write it in a style sheet and all we've got in our folder for our bootstrap here is the index.html which is our page here and there is a style sheet in there. Normally I'd write that but I'm doing it on page so you can see what's going on a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this thing into something that looks more like this and it's really easy to do. So okay, in our last one we changed that background color. Let's just drop this down a little bit. Now by red, we changed the background color to red. I'm going to change that to white because that's pretty nasty right there. Or change it to whatever your color you want. We were just doing that for example. I'm going to put white in there or FFF. It's actually six Fs, but with CSS3, if it's all the same, you just need to put three of them in there. In there. Control S to save. Brackets is absolutely free. If you need a text editor, I'll put the link down below and you can download it and use the same one as I'm using here. So we save that. Let's refresh. That should change that to white. And let's just put something in there to delineate between the header and the page itself because it's all white now. Just like the song, all white now. Okay. So I'm going to give it a bit of box shadow on the bottom. And don't want any left and right. A couple of picks up and down. Have a five pick spread, and we'll make it fairly dark, sort of seven seven seven. And again, we'll just save that. Control S and refresh. There we go. We can see where our nav bar is now. And the CSS I write today, I'll put below the video. If anybody wants to use it, you're welcome to. So here's where the logo should go. And if we look back at our HTML, if we roll down a bit to our navbar section down here, there it is right there. They've got a, a text version in there at the moment. So of course you can write your company name in there if you want to. Save that. And refresh. There it is right there. Simple as that. But we want to actually put an image in there. And of course if you want to change the color of this or do whatever you want to it, it's got a class name. So we can go navbar brand. I'm just demonstrating this if you want to use the text version. Let's copy that class name. We'll go up to where we're doing our style up here. As it's a class, must have a dot or a period in front of it, then the class name. We'll open and close some curly brackets. And inside we can do what we want. Um, we could say text transform uppercase make it capitalize and give it a color well it's already blue let's I guess I'll make it red for want want of a better color we'll save our changes there refresh the page as you can see it's uppercase and it's red now the reason it's blue when I hover over it, the default color for links is obviously blue. We could change that with an anchor tag, do the same thing. But we want to put an image in there, so let's get back to what we are doing. And I can actually take all that away. Well, I'll leave it in there in case you want to use it. Now let's go down to here, and we need to get rid of this and put an image in there. And all I'm going to do, here's our folder, and all it's got in it at the moment is our index HTML and a little bit of CSS there that we're not working with today. You can either put your images in a folder, which is not a bad practice. I'm going to leave it floating around right here in our root folder. So I'm going to just drag a logo over. There's my logo. It's called Logo. It's a PNG, Portable Graph Network Graphic. So let's get rid of this and we'll put an image in there instead. So I'm going to say img for image. We'll tell it where it is, which is source equals. 
and we'll tell it where it is. I'm just going to close out that uh, pointy tag there. It's called logo and it's already found it because it's in our in our root directory there. So I can just click on that. It'll put in there. If we hover over it, it should give us a demonstration of it. There it is right there. Great. Now all images should have an alt text describing what it is. Alt text is for sight impaired people that have got screen readers and it should be uh, a description of what the actual image is. A lot of people use the alt text for uh, SEO purposes, putting keywords and geolocation data and what have you, but that's entirely up to you. So we've now put that in there. Let's save it and see what we've got. Control S to save. There it is. There's our image in there. Now, like I mentioned before, it's usually quite a good idea to have an image folder for your images. So let's create a new folder. And if you're working with a template or something, it's probably got one of those. Let's put our logo in here inside the image folder itself. So we've got a folder called image and inside we've got our little logo there. Now, if that's the case, so if I refresh the page now, that's going to disappear and it'll be a blank alt text in there. So let's refresh that. As you can see, we've no longer got that logo because it's in our folder. And our folder is called IMG. So we just have to navigate to that particular folder. So simply change the source there. Put an IMG, name of the folder, forward slash, and the name of the actual image itself, which is logo ping right there. Save our changes. Now when I refresh, our logo should be back. And that's if you want to put your images in a little external folder there, which is not a bad idea because it can get pretty congested in here if you've got a bunch of images floating around. And when you're building a site, you're likely to have a lot of images. Okay, so we've got our image in there. Now if you decided you wanted this to be sort of boxed, more contained in there, it couldn't be easier. Let's go back to our brackets right here. And if we look down here, here's our nav bar. Here's our nav bar with the brand in it and all our navigation. The div just above it has got a class of container fluid. Now container fluid means that it's going to stretch the whole of the available width that there is. If we just get rid of the fluid part, the dash and the fluid on there. So we're just left with a class of container. Now say it'll be a box version and this will be in from the side. So make sure changes are saved. Control S. There it is. It's pulled it in from the sides. But that's entirely up to you. So there you go. That's how to add your logo to a Bootstrap 5 nav bar. Really easy to do. And like I say, you can contain it or keep it full width however you want. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.